live from the Chargers Blood Drive on Extra Sports 1360. We've been talking plenty of NFL football. Let's uh, change our, our thoughts over to the college ranks. As San Diego State, 8-3 and three on the year, travels to lovely Laramie, Wyoming, to face Wyoming, who stands at 4-7. and seven. Joining us now, quarterback of the Aztecs, Adam Dingwell. Adam, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Adam, I wanted to ask you about this this late season bye week. Uh, is there any positives? That, has it benefited the Aztecs at all to have such a late season bye? No, oh, definitely. I believe so. Um, you know, once you're playing a season for this long, you know, guys kind of start to get beat up and a little bit worn down uh, just with the grind of the game. So having a bye week, uh, you know, this late kind of helped us all out to kind of uh, rejuvenate and uh, recover a little bit and get some guys that are a little beat up uh, a little bit healthier. So you've got a late season bye week, and then following that bye week is Thanksgiving week, which of course uh, you know a lot of time spent with the family could be plenty of distractions. Are there any there regarding Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday? No, I don't believe so. We address that as a team, and you know we're all focused on one thing, and that's going up to uh, Wyoming and coming away with a victory and trying to get this conference championship. So we're all focused and we're all ready to get after it. Aztecs quarterback Adam Dingwell joins us on Extra Sports 1360. Adam, we know that this Wyoming team doesn't have a great record at 4-7, and seven, but we certainly know they can show up to play like they did last year at the Q. Tell us about this Wyoming team. Tell us about some of the game film that you've watched. Um, you know, from watching film, they're a great team, and they got a really good defense. I um, haven't seen much of their offense, but I know that they're a, a good all-around team, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, especially these last three weeks. They've been playing some really good football, so... Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a tough environment to play in, um, you know, but it's really, you know, not about them and what they do. It's about us as a team and uh, specifically as an offensive unit putting points on the board. Adam, let's talk about how you entered the season. And you talk about a, a, a difficult environment. Well, what about one coming in after your starting quarterback goes down? And you spoke about how fast the game was moving. How much has it slowed down for you since you took over for Ryan Katz? Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot more comfortable. The game does slow down once you start getting uh, some actual game time in there, uh, which is awesome. You know, I feel a lot more comfortable than I did, um, you know, the first week I played, and I feel like I've gotten more comfortable every week. Um, and that's just a credit to the guys around me. You know, the O-line's kept me healthy. Um, they're doing a great job. Our running game's been well, so that takes a lot of pressure off the pass game, and receivers have been getting open. It's just my job to get them the ball. So, you know, that's a credit to everybody around me. Adam, it's Kevin O'Connell. Good to talk with you here today. Can you talk a little bit about not only the bye week, but the practices throughout bowl games your past couple years and the extra practices for young guys that maybe helped you be prepared for your opportunity when it came about this year? Uh, yeah, for the bye week, you know, we just wanted to get uh, get some guys healthy. We uh, cut the reps back on a few guys, um, which I think helped us a lot and kind of got our legs back under us and rejuvenated us a little bit. And then as far as the bowl week goes, uh, you know, for bowl game preparation, the young guys do get a lot of reps, which is exciting, and it's kind of their job to go out there and, you know, show us what they can do, which is always fun to watch, and it never hurts to, uh, you know, get them as many reps as possible. So it's, it's always a fun experience. Adam, nice story about Ryan Katz today in the newspaper, just about his positive outlook and moving forward. And although he's dealt with a very difficult injury and it being his senior year, has he still been able to help you as a quarterback and get better? Oh, definitely. You know, when he's out there on the sideline, I can always come over uh, once I've got off the field and, you know, ask him what he's seeing. And it never hurts to, you know, have another set of eyes out there kind of telling you what they're seeing and from their perspective. Yeah, Adam, obviously a chance to go up and play for the conference championship this week. You know, you guys haven't played the and beaten, you know, the upper echelon of this conference. If you're able to go up and win this game up in Wyoming and come home Mountain West Conference champs, how do you feel you guys rate compared to the other top teams in the conference? Um, I think, you know, we have a great team. There's a lot of great teams in this conference, but um, as far as we're concerned, we feel like we can go out there and, you know, play with anybody. Um, it's not really about who we're playing. It's about what we can do as a team. Um, and, you know, the 11 or so guys on the field at a particular time, it's about, you know, how bad we want it and how bad we want to go out there and just take it. Aztecs quarterback Adam Dingwell along with us in Extra Sports 1360. Adam, how has the confidence grown on this team? It's it's certainly been a late surging Aztecs football team. Can you feel it at practice? Can you feel it just around the guys that, that the, the confidence knowing you're going to come away with a W has changed mindset from start to finish? Uh, yeah, you know, we're always confident when we're going into a game, whether it's early in the season or late in the season. And 
you know, early on we uh, started out kind of slow and we all wished, you know, it wouldn't have gone that way. But, you know, late in the season we kind of just came together and turned things around as a team and as an offensive unit on our side of the ball. We just said, you know, we have to score points and put our team in the best position to win. And, you know, we're all very confident, but uh, I wouldn't take that as cockiness by any means. We just have a uh, kind of a little swagger about us knowing that when we go out there, you know, we're ready to play and we're confident enough in our abilities that we can win the game. You obviously come in against Nevada and really immediately start producing, and it's been you know, very high-quality play since then, and I think Aztec fans have been really fired up about that. But talk about Andy Ludwig and Coach Sype and how they had you prepared and maybe any changes you guys have made as an offense as you've worked through this season. Um, we haven't made any changes, really. You know, uh, we have an offense and we have a scheme that we run and things we do very well, so we continue to do so continue to do so and uh, that's where the coach is helping me you know I, I always uh, wanted to prepare like I was going to play and they told me you know that you're always one play away you never know what can happen so you know I just prepared as best I could and then uh, like I mentioned earlier all the guys around me are playing great so it's uh, it's really not too hard of a job when you got guys around you playing the way they are. Adam what's it like to have a couple of running backs with the toughness of, of Buema and Casey how great is that to watch? Uh, it's amazing. You know, they're great guys. They're great running backs. Um, you know, whenever you need those short, tough yards, you can always count on them to get it. Um, the O-line will block for two, and they'll get two more after that. So, you know, they're great guys, and the O-line's done a great job for them. So it always helps having two great running backs like that kind of take the pressure off myself. Your tight end, Gavin Escobar, obviously he's had another great season. Uh, semifinalist for the Mackey Award. There's been a lot of chatter about Gavin maybe taking his talents to the next level. Are you being the guy you're going to be the starting quarterback coming into next year as well? I know you'd love to have Gavin coming back for his senior year. Oh, yeah, I'd love to have Gavin back. He he, uh, he creates a lot of mism- mismatches for us against certain defenses and some of their players. And, uh, you know, he's had a great year. And uh, whatever he does, I'm sure he'll think about it for quite some time. And he'll talk to some people. I can't really speak for him. But, you know, I'd love to have him back. But whatever's best for him is uh, ultimately what he needs to do. Adam, we appreciate your time. Travel safe and best of luck against Wyoming coming up on Saturday. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adam.